Hello again, Nuggets. See, I told you I was back doing two in a day. Okay, so I just did a little bit of research. Let me pull this across here so I can see it. Uh, on the Proud Boys, um, following on from my ramble where I was talking about how hard it is to find out anything um, about anything. <laughs> well, you can, but everything is biased, right? So if I type in Proud Boys, because I watched the debate, yeah, get it? You get the joke? I watched the debate where um, Biden, when they call, asked him to call out white supremacists and Biden said, well, Proud Boys, Proud Boys, wanted him to call out Proud Boys. And they did the stand back and stand by thing. So... It was asserted by Biden there that the Proud Boys are white supremacists. And honestly, pretty much anywhere you go that is not... A lot of places you go will say the Proud Boys are white supremacists. Okay? So, I'm a liberal, right? I lean left. Definitely lean left. So, am I supposed to just say... White supremacists, get them out without actually knowing anything about them. So as a normal Joe, let's say, well, let's say I try to go find out about them. What kind of information can I get about the Proud Boys? Um, and if there's any Proud Boys happen somehow to be watching this, please don't say, go to one of our rallies, man, find out. It's that aggro aggression that pushes people up. We don't want you then. I don't know. But... If you just want to find out and have a balanced view of these of people, how do you find out? Okay, so Wikipedia. Everyone fucking goes to Wikipedia, right? So I just looked up Proud Boys on Wikipedia. Here's the first sentence. The Proud Boys are a far right, okay, neo-fascist, hmm, and male only. I think that's true. Although I just saw an interview with a female Proud Boy, so maybe, well, maybe she wasn't. Maybe she's a proud female Proud Boy supporter. I don't know. Uh, a male-only organization affiliated with white supremacists. Okay, so it says on Wikipedia that they are affiliated with white supremacists. Okay? That promotes and engages in political violence. Well, many, many organizations do that, right? And the fact that they're saying they're white supremacists already makes me think, well, is, Mickey, is, is Wikipedia right? Like, what makes them white supremacists? I want to know, because if they are, I want to know that they are, and I can I can have an opinion about them that's educated. So why don't I go to their website, all right? So you go to Proud Boys, what is it, ProudBoysUSA.com. I hope this is them, who knows, maybe this is a different Proud Boys, but it looks like them. It says ProudBoysUSA.com, Proud Boys Western Chauvinists, right? Um, actually, you know, I could probably show you this. Let's see, how do we do that? Oh, yeah, there we go. That'll do it. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so it says, Proud Boys Western Chauvinists, uh, the world's greatest fraternal organization. Time for apologies has passed. I am a Western Chauvinist. I refuse to apologize for creating the modern world. The West is the best, man. It's got pictures of from people. I don't know who they are, but now it's got things here. It's got, they love Roger Stone. They promise is made. They love Trump, right? Did nothing wrong. I don't know about that, but cry you left this fucks. Well, they're obviously angry, right? Very proud of themselves. Our boy is free, I assume that means, Roger Stone. Uh, then you can find your chapter here, right? So let's have a look at what the website, what they tell us about themselves. Uh, okay, tenants. So this is what they believe. And I recognize this guy right here, by the way, the tall guy. I think I've seen him in quite a few things. And I think that guy is the leader I think. Anyway, core values of the Proud Boys. So let's evaluate them. Minimal government. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that, actually. I think the government wastes a lot of money. I'd like the government to do certain things well, and I think we need them. But in general, the principle of minimal government is good because government is corrupt and they tend to spend money where they shouldn't, right? Maximum freedom. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, okay. I mean, who's going to say, no, we don't want maximum freedom? Anti-political correctness. Well, kind of, right? Because it depends. Some political correctness is, is positive for us, right? The use of certain words which can put down a demographic um, in some cases can be, um, it's obviously a good thing, right? But I understand that sometimes 
everything is a demographic. So every word is offensive and they're probably railing against that. But to me, that is like, it's just, it's you know it's half and half maybe yes some of it maybe no some of it but it's certainly not a hate group i don't think so but we'll see anti-drug war well i think we all agree on that it's fucking ridiculous why hasn't it ended i thought it had actually closed borders okay so that's the first overtly racist thing but i don't know actually if it's racist now that i just said overtly racist and i don't know if it is it's nationalist right and i think that it is a very common thread with racism but closed borders doesn't necessarily mean they hate everyone. They're just saying they defend their country. I don't agree with closed borders. I think that immigration actually has made this country where it is. But I don't think that's, a, that's their opinion, right? It's not out and out um, racist. Next, anti-racial guilt. Well, isn't that a personal thing? I don't, I don't know how as a, like, you should feel guilty if you're a racist. <laughs> or... Or, I don't know, like, I don't know how, how an organization stands for that. If they're talking about past indiscretions, um, again, I still think it's personal. I personally feel guilty for what white people have done for the last 200 years. As uh, should the entire uh, country uh, set policies based on that? Well, actually, yes, I think to some extent they should. But the phrase anti-racial guilt, they're against being guilty for their race. I think that's what they're saying. And in principle, that's okay. I don't, I don't see why we shouldn't say that. You shouldn't feel guilty about being black or white or Latino or Indian or whatever the fuck you are, right? I mean, it doesn't make any difference. You should feel guilty for that. So in theory, correct. Their, their description of what that means, I don't know because that's the only words they put up there. But in theory, I agree with that. Anti-racism. Cool. But I thought they were white supremacists. So there are these white supremacists that are just claiming to be anti-racist because they don't really seem like the kind of people who would give a fuck what we think about them. So why would they say this unless they actually believe they are not racist? I don't get... That's the part I don't get about why the left is always so willing to say something is white supremacist. There are genuine white supremacist groups out there and they're terrifying this group don't care what how we paint them they've made a point of that so why would they bother saying they're anti-racist unless they truly believe they're not and yes i have seen black members of the proud boys not many <laughs> but i have seen a few i don't think there were that many black members in the clan maybe i'm wrong about that um pro free speech awesome Pro-gun rights, well, it's not my thing, but, you know, this is America, whatever you need to do. Glorifying the entrepreneur, <laughs> sure, oh, okay, I mean, yeah, whatever. Uh, venerating the housewife, this is a weird one. Okay, so, yes, we should venerate housewives. Um, we should venerate women and men and anyone who's good at what they do, and, you know, we shouldn't put anyone down. But is this saying venerating women who should be housewives? Because I don't know, it's not telling me enough about them. It's the language is a bit double speak here, or actually it's kind of half speak. It's not double speak; it's half speak because they're not making a point. But I can't be angry at them for saying venerating the housewife because I agree with that. I just don't agree with if the statement were venerate women who are only or venerate only women who are housewives. It's a weird situation, right? Reinstating a spirit of Western chauvinism. Yeah. I guess they're saying don't hate the West. I don't know if we do, but whatever. It's important to them. <laughs> right. The, though these are our core tenets, all that is required to become a proud boy is that a man declare he is a Western chauvinist who refuses to apologize for creating the modern world. We do not discriminate based on race or sexual orientation preference. We are not an ism, an ist, or a phobic that fits the left's narrative. We truly believe the West is the best and welcome those who believe in the same tenets as us. So that's what they say. I had a quick look at their FAQ. Um, they didn't really say anything. So how do I join? I've been watching. Can I join? Oh, this is good, though. Why should I join the Brown Boys? If you have to ask that question, then we don't want you. So look, these guys are forward, right? They're not me. <laughs> I am definitely not joining this group. They're just like, they're angry. They're aggressive. 
they're just like there's something about them every time i see any news footage of them um they just seem just violent and mocking and cruel they seem cruel that's the thing that's to me is they seem like cruel people and that really worries me so i don't like them because of that but it bugs me that we're labeling these people white supremacists i haven't seen proof that they are i'm sure there are people in the proud boys who are white supremacists right i wouldn't be at all surprised let me get you back on so I wouldn't be at all surprised if there are people in the Proud Boys that are white supremacists because it's a far right group and white supremacists do tend to be right wing. So I think it would appeal to them, right? There are racists in Antifa. There are racists on the left, a lot of racists on the left, um, and in some ways worse racists on the ref, left because they are hidden behind this veil of not being racist. They're not being honest. Um, but just because they're racists or in Proud Boys doesn't mean the Proud Boys are racists. So this, I think, is the problem we have, is that it is so hard these days to figure out what these organizations really mean. And yet everyone you know expects you to rally behind their flag. My friends do. If I had this conversation, I'll have some friends watching this video now who'll be fucking angry with me for even daring to say, suggest that the Proud Boys are in any way a good organization. I don't think they're good. I don't like them. But I don't like them for the reasons I know about them. I don't like their cruel demeanor. I don't like their aggressive stance. I don't like the fact that they seem to enjoy, they have that whole thing, I'm just here to watch liberals cry, that kind of attitude. I, that's ugly. It's not good for society. It doesn't help us. It doesn't matter who you are. You know, if the left was saying that about the right, it would fit exactly the same way. It's just an ugly part of nature. It's one of the reasons I don't like Trump. He's mean in that way. It's an ugly part of the nature. But the Proud Boys themselves, I don't know enough about them and I'm fed up with everyone getting on the bandwagon on every issue to say well this is definitely these are good people these are bad people and, and this is what you should believe we need to try and find a way to find out for ourselves the problem is organizations like the Proud Boys are not welcoming which I guess I understand given the, what they believe in but it's very hard to find genuine information because who's going to tell you what they really are I guess I could go to all gas no breaks you know that? YouTube that. It's very funny. Anyway, I just wanted to put a video up about it because I thought it was interesting to look at the background of an organization or what we know about an organization that is being labeled in the press a very particular way and which we don't necessarily know if they're that way. All we get is one side of the story, you know. Uh, that's it. If I have any more thoughts about it, then um, I'll post another video about it. I just wanted to put it out there. I wanted to see if anyone comments. That's really why I'm putting this up here. I want people to educate me. And don't be angry with me for just looking at stuff and trying to be a good citizen. Taking everyone at their word and reading it, you know. My current feeling is I don't like them. <laughs> they scare me. But that's because I've looked at it rather than just following behind, you know, toe of the line. All right, you little nuggets. I'm going to leave it now. See you soon. Hmm.